walk through the valley of the shadow of death I take a look in my life and realize there's nothing left Cause I've been blasting and laughing for so, so long that Even my mama thinks that my mind is gone And I ain't never crossed a man who didn't deserve it Me be treated like a punk, you know that's unheard of You better watch how you're talking and where you're walking Or you and your homies might be lying and talking I really hate to trip, but I gotta look As I croak, I see myself in that pistol smoke Oh, I'm the kind of G the little homies wanna be Like on my knees in the night saying prayers in the street light Been spending most their lives living in the gangster's paradise Been spending most their lives living in the gangster's paradise Speaking of Jack and M. Shaw, did you guys stay in the vents? I forget if you got shoes and joined the group or what. We stayed in the vents. They went down into a, I think it was a different room room. with food, wasn't it? No, I don't think we did. I thought we initially got to the coat room, and then we came here to, like, stash up on veggies, but I don't think we were starting to impersonate anybody. Yeah. (laughs) Right, so you guys need shoes, so... Well, there's about about to be at least one extra pair of shoes available, so... One of you gets (laughs) to be a clown. (laughs) Also also gross. (laughs) Different reasons. (laughs) Would there be an area in the vents where I can get a better look at the like the box getting stabbed full? Because I maybe want to like try and help guide Giorgio with some particular like sword stabs. Oh yeah, there's definitely some kind of air work, duct work that goes above the theater itself. I'm down for lo- relocating around here-ish in the vents and like trying to call give call outs for Giorgio of like hey hey a little bit to the left a little bit to the left he's kind of wiggling around this way <laughs> M Chaucets, are you in on this too <laughs> yeah of course ultrasonic rabbits see yeah. is the best way to go see yeah. <laughs> when you're ready mr melvin splendid like, splendid beautiful fierce please stab the box he shuts it on himself. How do I friggin' put this in? Right, so at this point, can I use my percep- like, you know, my bunny hearing to try and f- figure out where he is in the box? Okay. So... I don't want him to die, I just want him to get There are bit. obvious slots in the box yeah. where, uh, Fiersa, totally not Pesto, can insert the blades. The bunny girls kind of just vaguely gesture, like, just pick a hole, you know, because... It's a mm-hmm. yeah. Sorry, I walked into that. That wasn't what I intended, but I walked. I'm into not going to stop him. I'm sorry. If he wants to. This is a free country. Oh, no. oh my god. <laughs> um. Oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> I am into this. Real magic. So your your strong oh, shit. <laughs> affiliation with Jack <laughs> and with Hopper, for that matter. Hell yeah, You know both brother. of them are nearby. You are on like a like a little step stool looking over the coffin with Melvin's grinning face creepily sticking out and facing the audience at the on your left side and the audience is before you in the glaring stage lighting you're getting a better look at this box and oh god it's more like disturbing iconography like the tiger motifs on that sharpening wheel except this time it appears to be just human faces over and over because magic why? Because he's a pervert. <laughs> because this guy probably just picked up like a cheap <laughs> antique trunk and modified it to his magical showing I, business. All right, first you off, know, is it just me or do I feel like the the box you're supposed to get stabbed full of swords in is the wrong thing to cheap out on? Like I would have cheaped out on the sharpening wheel that he yeah. like stole from Siegfried <laughs> and Roy, not the stabbing box. <laughs> 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 these are fucked. All of this just builds upon our original theory that this dude is the perfect fall guy. <laughs> he's hard up on cash. Yeah. He's literally he's cheaping yeah. out on the one thing that he shouldn't cheap out on. <laughs> he's stealing famous, obviously recognizable <laughs> shit from other magicians. Nobody's gonna miss this guy yeah. when he's gone, is my point. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how I should feel about my descriptions of the scene triggering you guys. I don't know where he got his chest. Probably the Amityville house, (laughs) but, like, fuck this guy. 
<laughs> they're having an estate sale in uh in uh arkham it's Arkham like, Asylum it's or like something. uh large chest gently stabbed was the craigslist <laughs> ad <laughs> <laughs> Never used stabs twice. <laughs> Only been penetrated twice. Fifty dollars OBO. That's that's a different kind of advertising platform. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what you want. That's what you do when you want your chest to go viral. Oh my god! Wow. So Pesto is staring down at this probably possessed box that's been repurposed into magic equipment. Jack is. Whistling and snorting vague bunny affirmations or negations, depending on which hole he thinks Pesto should thrust the sword. <laughs> and Hopper, clown shoe equipped, waits in the dark <laughs> for something. Look, this dude's gonna have to drop through that hatch to avoid getting stabbed, and that's what he's gonna get stabbed. That's that's everything's lining up perfectly. <laughs> Right, we're executing the plan. Soon to be executing this guy. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we're executing more than just a plan right now. <laughs> yeah, no, we're gonna kill him later. We're just roughing him up. We're just roughing him up. We're not killing him. He's a loose end. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even know he was an end, and now here he is um, at his end. Rapidly approaching the end. <laughs> you 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 never know you're the end until you approach it. When you play the game, sometimes you lose. That's life, kids ain't cods, all right? Yeah, speaking of execution, what do I roll in order to stab him without killing him? I'm assuming crime. I'm assuming crime, too. And I'm thinking that because you're getting assistance in this case... Well, roll once and let's see what happens first. I have committed the crime. I am now a criminal bunny. It took you until retirement to become a criminal bunny? Six years of hard living. I'm looking, I'm not liking what I'm seeing. <laughs> oh my god. I never said I was a competent criminal, I just said I was a criminal. Yeah, we're constant. We're all constantly sliding back and forth on that scale of criminal versus bunny, so it's fine. No, no, I don't care about the scale, I care about the statement, <laughs> now I'm a criminal. <laughs> One last job. On his retiring mission, to become a criminal. Some guy who's never successfully done crime before joined our group and made himself the leader in we allowed that. Yeah, no, that's that's where that, I'm at. That's why I'm right. ready. <laughs> I that, that tracks. Gus and I are just in this for the food and the violence. Like, we don't care about the rest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, that's upsetting. The rest is just fine print for us. We're, we're going to ignore it and just let what happens happen. Oh, my God. <laughs> Allow me now to elucidate the things that have transpired, like an N64 or PS1 cutscene. Pesto makes a stab on the left-hand area after some urging from Jack. Jack coaxes Pesto now to the right hand. No purchase yet. Jack guides Pesto to the right thigh. Thyrsa, in all her eager glory... Shoves the sword through, and Melvin lets out a noise that is something along the lines of, Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Saucy. Oh. I love it. <laughs> that must have been what the sirens heard, or what the sailors heard with the sirens. We're witnessing a death here today, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, it's the career. The bunny girls are alarmed. Backstage... Hopper, you see this firsthand. Everybody, like, stops. Like, just, they just stop. As in a collective, what just happened? And then Melvin, in his best imitation Undertaker fashion, attempts to no-sell his bleeding thigh as he steps out of the coffin. This has been the wonderful work of our Lady Fiersa. Give her a round of applause. An unsure applause I bow. comes up from the audience. And then whip my ear like hair. Because I'm fierce <laughs> and I'm proud. Oh, Just as a quick, like, extra visual on that, remember, somewhere backstage in a dark corner lurks a clown waiting to stab <laughs> this guy. <laughs> A second time. Stab him a second time. No, no, it's a cut, not a stab. 
This is so absolutely funny. Remember, we only get three cuts. You gotta make it work in three cuts. <laughs> we will now take the next two minutes to set up for our next act. The curtain drops in front of Melvin, yeah. the bunny girls, and Fiersa. The bunny girls bring Fiersa off stage. Something about, uh, just wait here. There might be a paper or two you have to sign. Don't worry about it. It's no big deal. Accidents happen. <laughs> Melvin is being immediately tended by a bunch of guys in headsets and black clothing. Yeah. The backstage crew. Noted. Hopper, you have to maneuver a little bit to make sure nobody rolls you over with the, the clothing rack that you're kind of cooped up by with your clown <laughs> shoes on. <laughs> and uh, indeed, they are apparently setting up for what seems to be the next part of the act, which includes wheeling out of a side room backstage... A little cage. It's a little These bunny savages are going to carry on after a man just got stabbed? Strike now, Hopper. Yeah. <laughs> Save that bunny. Oh, I'm going to strike, but I can't do it until they start, until the stagehands turn away from him. Your blade that must be true. <laughs> oh my god, are you going to take his shoes and pose I mean, as him? I can only imagine. <laughs> I would say that the bunny is pretty unattended from the magician because, I mean, he's got more important things to worry about right now. Yeah, bleeding is kind of of a concern. You, you, that's just, that's fair. His femoral artery's fine. Just as planned, guys. I am a criminal mastermind. Um, Pesto, since you are backstage and kind of seeing this from not the same angle as Hopper, but a similar one, uh, the bunny in that cage, that is not Romeo Tatalini. Or Prego Parmigiana. You don't know who she is. We don't friggin' talk about Prego Parmigiana in my house. <laughs> he says to God completely unprovoked. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's okay, sweetie. We told you. Accidents happen. Don't worry about it. You just drink some water. Make yourself comfortable. Like I said, you might just have to sign a thing. It's no big deal. Um, just be comfortable. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Nobody Trisha comes. the bunny girl feels like your best friend because you schmoozed her so well. <laughs> she just wants you to be okay. <laughs> I'm so friggin' uncomfortable staring at the staring at the bunny ears. I was gonna say, you sound like you you like rolled into your forties <laughs> real up hard. Back of Marlboros as he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Cigarette lasagna. Uh, yes, I do. I do sound like I've I mean, smoked like thirty packs of cigarettes. Jump from like you know crime hardened Italiano to like lady at the slots who smokes eight packs a day. <laughs> I've never met. A, I've never met a lady who chews tobacco and smokes it at the same time. Oh, wow. yeah, go to Vegas then, bro. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so, are, uh, have the stage hands finished? Treating him? All right, yes. Melvin has been bound up, a new pair of pants presented to him. Uh, he's drinking a glass of water because, fuck, man, I just got stabbed. Are they stagehands <laughs> currently looking away from him? Yes, they appear to now be working on getting pieces of the scene set up, including bringing the rabbit by. All right, I'm going to run in, cut the tendons, dive back into the clothes thing, lose the <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my god he's doing the he's doing that like walking through the crowd i accidentally bumped into a guy but i was really stabbing him and then i just continue walking yep. <laughs> and the thing is that all he's gonna say is like yo exactly. some clown jumped me and like some like and then all and then they're gonna be looking for a clown and not <laughs> yeah no this is this is a tragedy what we're done what we've done here today <laughs> All right, so Hopper, you're going in. Yep. Roll some kind of criminal, I think. <laughs> I would say so. Oh yeah. <laughs> the cutscene continues, folks. Melvin, he lets out a more recognizably human sound of anguish. Oh, and falls from his seat. Hopper, riding on his uh, excellent. Riding high on the clown shoes murderer. <laughs> He's able to easily transition from clown shoes murderer into the shadows. <laughs> seeing as he got such a very good feel of how to hide back here. Um, when he first approached. <laughs> and now everyone's whispering like, did a clown just cut him? <laughs> <It's your> shoes. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> 